What's up YouTube, Dave here. I want to make a real quick video about a, a cooler that I've had for a couple years and I'm really, I think it's a good viable option. I think it's one of the best options for the money. Um, Mint's craft beer, obviously. Um, the wife and I just went away this weekend for a, a, a trip up to Vermont. I knew I'd be bringing some beer back. Um, so, you know, you'll see the big expensive options out there, the Yeti, hard coolers. Yeti also makes a line of soft ones. So does their competitor, Arctic. Um, and then Home Depot, Home Depot, Walmart makes knockoff ones like this, Ozark Trail, which I got on clearance at Walmart for $19. It kind of sucks, no offense, but um, it's, it's great. I like to take to a picnic for a couple hours, but we left, uh, we left Vermont, it's 5 p.m. We left Vermont this morning around 9.30. You know, made a few stops along the way. So the ice in here is very much melted, it's cold water. I have some Hill Farmstead double citrus. Gotta get those in the fridge. Um, and unlike the Yetis, a lot of people tell you it's the, it works the same. The zippers do leak on this, so if, the, if this tips over in the car, water's coming out of that zip. But, I got this as a Christmas gift a couple years ago by a company called Norchill. On the website, it's 80 bucks. And when you compare, you can probably get two of those for the price of the uh, Yeti. So, this is a Voyager. It's made of a very heavy duty Cordura. Get this stuff out of the way. Sorry about that, guys. Just got home. I'm literally unpacking doing laundry. So, this on their website claims to hold 48 cans. 12 ounce cans. This same cooler was filled with ice this morning. This actually right now has 10, 10 four packs, 16 ounce cans. It fits six across the bottom. It won't fit six on top, too, too, too top, uh, it'll be too tall. Um, so, and I just wanna show you, I put the ice in there at the same time and it's, it's rugged, man, it's heavy duty. Got these two little clips here, which once you get everything in, it makes it nice and square. It does not leak, does not sweat. So, one, two, three, four. Now, these ones aren't in the carrier because I busted a couple open last night. So I just threw these citizen ciders in here to make a little. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I actually had eleven in there, and it fit. Um, and I got plenty of ice cold water in here with ice still. Again, I put water, uh, ice in this thing. About 10 pounds of ice, put most of it in this one. And it's perfect because you get six across the bottom. Can't really see it. Then you lay these uh, last four like this. Two here, two here, and it creates a nice channel in the middle. You put a bunch of ice as it melts, the water goes down. And I believe the zipper, it's waterproof. Well, I also wanted to show you this, which I love about this cooler. So, I'm going to put these in the fridge. As you can see, get these out of the way. As you can see, when you open the cooler, the other beauty of it is when I pack the car up to head out, you could push this flat and put it underneath your bags so you get where you're going. We went to stow, which by the time we stopped and everything, camera keeps shutting off, guys. Sorry, I hate this GoPro, I really do. Anybody want to buy it, shoot me a PM. I got a great deal. Hero 5, black, ton of accessories. So, what I was saying was, when we left the house, I was able to fold this up flat and squish it down. It comes with a nice strap, but the beauty is once you get everything in it, you zip it up, and then these buckles latch down, and it's square, and it, I tell you, it does not sweat. I want to show you something. Let's see it. This thing is right here. I don't think these zippers 
leak. Nope, they leak. <laughs> I stand corrected. The zippers are not waterproof. All right, guys, so to clarify, this will hold, according to the company's website, 48 12 ounce cans, uh, 79 bucks, 80 bucks, 79.99. I guess if you're gonna put it on your back and go through the wild, uh, it does, its zippers are waterproof. The um, North Chill zipper is not waterproof. But it is very stable once you get that square to pull down. It's fantastic. So you can get two of them for the price of the Yeti and have a couple of bucks left over. Um, not knocking the Yeti. Um, if I was just spending my money on coolers to, what, to do it the way I do it now, or go up in my car uh, and not be on safari like those Yeti hard coolers, they clearly are meant, you know, you're packing out an elk on a horseback from Montana. Maybe that's the route you want to go, but uh, for being a yuppie hipster beer guy, it works just fine. I said 80 bucks, I'll put it outside to dry out. Anyways, talk to you cats later.